3D tutorials. Today's video is part one of how to create grass inside Maya. And in this video, we're going to use the XGen to creating it. Uh, but in the next video, I will also show you how you can use the paint effect to creating uh, the graphs also. So here I have a very simple scene. I'm going to use the Arnold to render it. And uh, here we have just a basic plane. We have the light and sky dome light, which can be found in the light. Okay, so we selecting our uh, plane and going to to the XGen. Press this one so it will came up with the XGen windows. And now we can just create. I recommend uh, you can of course rename this, but I just put it at the default and using the Chrome Mabel. As soon as I do this, you can see I have some of yellow guide. And here inside the chroming, I can have more in them. So how much you're going to give a uh, high number, give more uh, grass. So maybe something like this. And uh, you can also change the length of these. And you can also change the uh, width of this also. But you can also control these two options inside here. So. For now, we're just starting with the basic. When you are happy with it, you can just uh, update the preview. The thing about the preview is if I looking here and pressing this one, it will only update the area camera have seen. So if you want to have all of them, so you need just make it once again. That is a just quick tip. So we can now check the yellowish off and now we have kind of hair or grass so the other thing I want to do I going to this section go always down or going always up and going to the length so the grass all the grasses is same length but I don't want to be like this so I want to have actually I can just hide this for now uh, I can I want to have the different uh, size so you can use the expression so you can uh, use the same and say multi divided i can just zoom this a bit multi divided by rand which is random from maybe zero to four so it's going to make it random one is one one is four one is three and so on and accept this make sure you update this so maybe it was too high i have given it I can uh, use the chroming, but I can also use the the same script once again, and maybe we putting it to be zero point uh, three by one and accept. So it looks a bit better. So now they are not the same size as you can see. The next things we want also to do is shaping for every single uh, grass. So here we have the width. We can actually start to drag this one and make it always down and maybe give it kind of this shape. And just update this. I don't know if you can see it. Between if we going to the other section you can see now we have getting this shape on it so the last things we want to do uh, is uh, putting the noise but I will also say by the grooming you can actually use the different brushes they are to give different length in some area or orientation or posting or whatever thing it is but you can also use the other to make it for all of this area at the same so we're going to the modify uh, modifiers and we need to add something called the noise and you can just playing with the these two value to get noise on it maybe with the two is well got so we need just update the preview once again as you can see now it look like more grass
just update it once again here we go so now we want actually we have creating our class we want going to render it the first things we going to choose going to the preview and output go always down to the render to be the render you use in this case is r05 i'm going to use so i choose this and for the color actually there are two ways you can actually put all of them to be the same green and you can also uh, use a texture map to create like green, yellowish, whatever thing do you like to give this grass the different color. So to do this, you need, I can just show, show you the simple way how it is. So I just going to save this file. Make grass to, here we go. So now we have just saving it. So the simple way is actually go to the high shade. And in this case, I using the Arnold. So I just choosing the shader. We have a standard hair and we have AI standard surface. You can use both of them, but uh, it's going to be faster if you're using the normal shader or material. So I'm just going to use this. And to apply this shader, you need actually to go to the outliner, select the description, go back to it, and right click on this, assign material to select it, and make sure it has been changed. So now we have it, and it will work like all the other, so I don't going deep inside it, but uh, I'm going to make some of adjustment, maybe I don't want to have so much uh, specular and we just going very simple choosing a simple green color and for the render to getting more clean render uh, I have the sky dome light by the default put this to be tree and the important thing is the shadow need to be a bit opacity. Why it does uh, what it does is going to light going through all of the uh, grasses, and you will not getting a uh, noise inside the image, and of course the render uh, quality. But for now we just leave it as the default, and we can just very quickly render it out what we have getting. So here is uh, the render of the grass we have just creating. Uh, as you can see, it is uh, all of them the same uh, green, but the light information is going to change it. Some, some area is going to be light and some area is going to be uh, darker and so on. But let's see, we want have different color inside here. Let's see, that is grass, but I want have red, blue, or whatever thing it is, so how we can apply a texture to it. So we just save this one. So to apply the custom shader, uh, we need to have... So we're going back to the X-Gen, going to... Um, going to preview, go always down to custom shader, or... Yeah, custom shader and we can just name it whatever you want grass and make sure that is a color and apply this and we need actually I just hide the grass for now and we need actually go to create a map and that one is going to create a simple paint uh, layer painting inside the Maya so make sure you have stopping your render yes here we go now it is sometimes you can see you cannot uh, use the brush you need to press it once again and you will get it uh, and that is not this texture i want to use so the important thing is the name of the grass i have renamed it i need to copy this then i'm going to my shader here I have just created I need to uh, use something called AI user 
data color and put the name of the grass here what is the name is this name we have just creating and I can add is uh, like at uh, like a text or file to be getting information from the image later so I need to apply the area I want and that is of course in the color so the other thing is uh, we need actually uh, give more resolution for this one and to do this we need actually go ahead and change the 10 to be number 100 at least and we just press OK so the last thing is I don't want to use this uh, black white image I want to use a custom uh, image uh, a texture I have so to do this you're going to this section selecting this and graph network so here you can see which file we have just creating so now we need to load the file we want and i think it is grass it is grass but i'm going to use uh, this one so you can see the different color information and when we have it simple thing is make sure you're saving and go ahead and update you will not see it inside here uh, it's not supporting by viewport so we need to actually go to the render and render it so now you can see we have getting the grass with the with the different color information we have give it for it so maybe I need to zoom a bit more in and just give it render so you can see what it's going to look like so that is a way uh, how to create uh, grass inside Maya with the X-Gen you can have the different color information and you can have the noise and different length and it will give you a nice look so here it was the two example we have used the simple color, color to get the grass and we have using a color map to get the different type of the grass so thank for watching